Hey, how's it going, Borderlands community? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. Today, guys, we're going to be looking at the new details for the Bloody Harvest event. Borderlands.com just updated their page and showed that when this DLC is actually going to drop. First thing first, if you have the season pass or if you don't have the season pass, you're going to get this regardless. This is a free content update. It's starting from October 24th all the way to December 5th. We can highlight the details here. So this is a free update, guys. All you have to have is just a copy of the game and you'll get this little DLC for free. The season pass type of stuff will be a little bit later on, but if you don't have the season pass, then you're good. You get this for free. So basically, we're going to go over some of the smaller things it's going to give us. So we have uh, new legendary weapons, uh, Vault Hunter skins, weapon skins, weapon trinkets, Echo Device skins, grenade mods, shields, a cool cool stuff for the gear there. New spooky activities, all new challenges, terrifying new boss. So if you guys have seen, they showed off a little bit of the, you know, DLC before with some snapshots of pictures, but we actually have a trailer as well. But before we get into that, look for this little dude, Luke Maurice on Sanctuary 3 to start your adventure. This little guy here will be somewhere on the actual ship in Sanctuary 3. So that means you do have to be at Sanctuary 3 at least. You have to get over your first bit of Pandora first in order to start playing this DLC. So you get to Sanctuary 3, find this little dude and it will initiate and start the DLC for you once you pick it up from there. I'm sure he'll give you a quest. And I don't know exactly where this DLC is taking place, but we have a little bit of a trailer here. We're going to go through this trailer. I'll be quiet during it. We're going to react to it real fast just so we can get the gist of what this trailer is going to be. We're going to get some gameplay in here too and see some of those new skins and guns. And I believe one of the bosses is also in this trailer. But let's just go over this real quick and give us a little view. Then we'll go over some more of the stuff and details for this event. But let's check out the video real quick. <laughs> So right there, those are the, the new skins that we're getting, the kind of purple and stuff like that. I'm not too sure where this is taking place. It looks like it could take place in some of the actual planets that we've been on, like Prometheus and Eden 6. But I'm not 100% sure. This might be its own planet, its own place. I'm not too sure, guys. But let's just keep going through. And um, maybe we'll pick up on some things in the environment that might tell us where this is at. But again, I think this might be their own place. I'm not too sure. <laughs> So this is one of the new legendary like skins. We have the Fearmonger, which is a gun. But the skin has ghosts going. It has an actual trailing effect if you can check it out. Look at the actual ghosts on the gun. You can see that the actual ghosts themselves are moving on the gun. Uh, like these little dudes here. They're actually moving and flowing through the gun. So it's an active camo skin that actually moves as you just hold it or play with it. So it's, that's pretty cool. And this is the brand new legendary weapon they're showcasing off here, the Fearmonger. And yeah, so available October 24th till December 5th. In addition to the Bloody Harvest event debuting their first episode of the Borderlands show, we'd like to share some more details about this event will function once it's live. To participate, you'll need to have progress far enough in your story to unlock 63, like we just talked about a bit ago, which happens early on. Um, while Body Harvest is active, you'll notice a particular newcomer aboard the ship, Maurice. That's the little creature guy. A surprising friendly Serant who has who can speak to you via a device Tannis's own investigation. As Borderlands 3 director Paul Sage explained during the Borderlands show, Maurice is your guide to all of Borderlands seasonal events. So not only is he going to be part of this event, but all of the seasonal events. That doesn't necessarily mean the season pass DLC, which are campaign. This is seasonal events. So it might be like in October, or, you know, like, uh, you know, like Bloody Harvest and maybe we'll have something for like St. Patrick's Day, maybe something for the summer. So all the seasonal events are through Maurice. I would not be surprised if we saw something for Christmas, but seeing as this update is going all the way to December 5th, I don't know. Might be something small for the actual Christmas time. Yeah, I think they also have to get in the standard season pass campaign DLC stuff done too. So they're working on a lot of stuff. I'm really cool. The first bit of DLC content we're getting for this game 
is completely free. So if you just own the game, guys, you get this for free. A lot of cool new legendaries and stuff like that. It's not just like, oh, a new place with a raid boss. No, we're getting a bunch of new content, trinkets, skins, stuff like that, and a new legendary. That's pretty cool to, you know, see what's going on here. So going to heck. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Buddy Harvest begins. Maurice will offer you a repeatable mission that will be completed in order to reach heck. So I'm guessing that's the new place. The spooky setting for our Borderlands 3 Bloody Harvest event, Maurice kindly asks you to collect a certain amount of ectoplasm, or hectoplasm, and that drops from slaying haunted enemies, so I'm guessing like killing ghosts and stuff like that. You'll encounter haunted enemies all over the galaxy during Bloody Harvest. You'll know them by their ghostly green glow. Once you've collected enough hectoplasm, Maurice will open a portal to heck aboard Sanctuary 3 that will transfer you to a creepy domain of Captain Haunt and his undead minions have killed if you killed Trant in the normal campaign DLC not DLC just a normal campaign you will know about this dude he's basically Captain Haunt now he's came back as somewhat of a ghost or kind of a zombie ghost skeleton guy yeah he's the one you've seen in the trailers once you've managed to stop shaking in your boots at the sheer spookiness of heck you'll have to fight your way through an undead army of Malawan soldiers who are rising from their graves with ambitions of revenge. So you're fighting basically the people you fought through the campaign, they're back to haunt you. Yes, with their captain Haunt, who was Tron. So basically their whole army's back to fight you again in this new place called Heck. You'll encounter, you also encounter freaky Fayuna, including Fying, Fire Breathing, Rack Lanterns, and Wretched Rat that have gorged themselves on blood. Deep within the depths of heck lies Captain Haunt, the bony final boss of Bloody Harvest. So we're going to get him at the very end. So let's go over collecting new gear and cosmetics. Okay. Your enemies in heck have a chance to drop gear that will only be available during the Bloody Harvest event, including the Fearmonger, a new legendary shotgun that packs a supernatural punch. You might also have anointed weapons that pay off a new terror mechanic include, introduced in Bloody Harvest. So, we have new effects here. Not only are we going to get new legendary, but we're also getting a new effect called the terror. Haunted enemies can be inflicted with the terror debuff will uh, affect their aim and partially cloud your vision. But with these new anointed effects, you can turn terror into a beneficial boost of power. There's also a set of seasonal cosmetic items which won't drop in heck. Okay, cool. Um, but are still exclusive to the Bloody Harvest event. During the event, you have the chance to earn a skin for each of the four Vault Hunters. I think we just saw that. The trinkets, blah, 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 weapon trinkets, and finally a ghost global weapon skin. Also a global weapon skin, so all of which you can check out in the trailer up top. So I guess it's something that we all have to kind of as a community do a challenge together to get the global weapon skin. I'm guessing that's what it is. To unlock these items, we need to complete a new set of challenges that are exclusive to the Bloody Harvest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Progress towards completing these challenges is auto tracked automatically, so it's cool. And each cosmetic item is unlocked via completing a certain number of these challenges. So again, it looks like there's some stuff that we can unlock by not having to go to heck, but just playing the game. Normally, there's new stuff to unlock just in general because the event is going on. So you might be able to do the standard campaign and side missions and get some of these things to drop. While also, you can go to heck and then, you know, kind of get its exclusive stuff too. So just playing the base game while this event is going on is going to give you a chance to also get some free cool stuff as well. So if you want to be a collector and collect everything... Right here, it kind of tells you all the stuff that you can get. Shows off some of the uh, you know outfits you can get too. I think this outfit's actually pretty cool. I like the pants and stuff. I think the pants look like pretty dope, and the, the you know the purple and the you know kind of teal gets a little cool look. Uh, it's also kind of weird seeing Zane having darker hair. Like they all have more darker hair, but. By the way, I think this event is going to be pretty cool, guys. I hopefully hopefully they keep making a lot more of these events. Um, I'm kind of surprised this is so late into October. I figured that they would have probably released this in the early days of October and then ran it just through November. That kind of seems like spooky-ish season to me. And again, they typically do Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas events. So I wonder if we're going to be getting a Thanksgiving event while the Bloody Harvest event is going on at the same time. Or maybe we'll get a smaller challenge or something like that. 
I'm happy with getting a Bloody Harvest to be the longer event than something like Thanksgiving or something like that. Because I think the Bloody Harvest event could do a lot more than what Thanksgiving can. Because there's just so much more spookier aspects to something like a Bloody Harvest or Halloween event. Then I don't think there's a lot of content you can really juice out of something like Thanksgiving. I think they had a hard time with the Borderlands 2 DLC. Although I love that DLC so much. So much. Except Mama Torg talking her head off. Oh boy. I mean, it's an easy challenge, but you got to sit through that whole thing. Uh, OG Borderlands 2 people know what I'm talking about. But um, I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I look forward to this event. I'll be covering more news on it. Go ahead and preload your game up. Um, the 24th is when it comes out, so you guys can be ready to get that when it comes out. If you want more Borderlands news, please like this video. Comment down below what you think about this and what future DLC will be like. And uh, as always, guys, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.